welcome back to the channel y'all chris the camping texan here where in the world is the geo pro this weekend we're set up at galveston island state park well y'all this is headquarters uh, and also the nature center over here at galveston island on the bay side now what i was told is that due to staffing shortages sometimes there might not be staff um, here to check you in so you may have to go across the road to the beach side headquarters to get your permit I noticed that today uh, no one was inside of here until about noon but what I wanted to show you out here guys was those of you that have been coming out here for a long time remember how many potholes were in this road y'all look at this brand new asphalt they've laid down hard to believe that this is now the new entrance road into Galveston Island Bayside. So nice. Well, good morning, y'all. Glad y'all could join me out here at the campsite. I'm so glad to be back to Galveston Island State Park, y'all. Um, I was out here September of 2021, so it's been almost a year. Uh, when I was here, I didn't record last time because uh, this park was in, in need of, of assistance. Um, the road was terrible. A lot of potholes it needed a lot of work so i'm glad to see that the texas parks and wildlife they've done the required maintenance the needed maintenance and this place is good to go y'all well y'all i've got a cool weekend for you um staying here at 119 campsite 119 bayside and then uh, tomorrow moving over to campsite number seven over on the beach side uh, so y'all come and join me and i'll show you galveston island state park well, let's take a look at your campsite, y'all. So the last time I was here, um, this was actually campsite number 62, or it may have been 61. I can't really remember. Uh, but uh, they've renumbered all the campsites here on the bay side. So this is now number 119. And we have these really nice uh, state park plaques here with the numbers right next to the electrical box as well as the water spigot. But you guys get 20, 30, 50 amp electric. Everything's nice and new for you guys. Everything hooks up great. No issues with uh, water, electric. Uh, what I'm really impressed with, y'all, is the last time I was out here, these pad sites, they were in desperate need of help. Um, they were some type of gravel, asphalt kind of substance, and half of it was missing. But now, guys, you get this really nice concrete pad. Makes it easy to level out your rig. You don't get a whole lot of uh, picnic space, y'all. This hasn't changed. If you've been to Bayside before, you still get this, the picnic table here. Just a little bit of green space here, not much. You know, maybe maybe for your dog or something, but uh, it's just not a whole lot of room back here. And I will say, uh, the last time I was out here, we had an ant problem. Uh, haven't seen so many ants this time. Uh, mosquitoes have been an issue over here. Uh, but with this tall grass, y'all, uh, just like out at Mustang Island State Park, if you have small children, make sure that you watch out for snakes. And there are alligators in this park as well. But, uh, you know, guys, you can't beat the view 119. It is just so beautiful out here. But y'all, let's talk about services this weekend. No issues with satellite TV at all. Uh, there's no obstructions, so we were able to get all of our channels. Um, made Susan very happy. And then AT&T has been wonderful. I didn't even put the cell booster up. The uh, the Wii Boost, I just left it in the camper, y'all. I'm, I'm getting five bars of AT&T out here. So you're not going to have any issues with TV or cell out here. If you guys require any kind of services while you're out here, if you need ice, groceries, or anything like that, and propane for your RV, I highly recommend uh, the Dollar General. If you go back out to FM 3005 and take a left, it's just right down the road, y'all. It's one of our favorite Dollar Generals. Uh, they offer a lot of uh, beach-type knickknacks uh, that you'll find interesting. Uh, grocery items, ice, movies, you name it. 
um, it's great to go there. You don't have to go all the way into town to a grocery store or anything like that. So uh, check Dollar, Dollar General out if you need anything. We all apologize for the uh, construction noise in the background. They're still doing a lot of work out here. Uh, but I do want to draw your attention to the facility across the street from our campsite. Uh, this is a, a community or communal uh, gathering area. They've got several picnic tables, in-ground grill and fire rings, as well as standing uh, barbecue pits. Now, we are under a burn ban right now, so uh, we're not able to, to burn any wood. But um, this is... The facility that you would go to if you wanted to do any cooking while you're here on one of their standing grills so when you're staying here all these rv sites are on a loop here so you just make one one loop around this this complex um, these are going to be your more preferred sites like this is 118 right next to me we're in 119 you're going to have a water view back here uh, this is where you're going to have more of an opportunity to see wildlife. Um, so you're going to want to get one of these sites toward the back. I'm not saying any of the other sites are bad, uh, but you're just going to get a different view. Uh, so it really just depends on where you, where you want to be. Uh, if you're just looking to get out here for a couple of days and it doesn't matter, um, then they've got several sites up close uh, to the road as well. If you'd like to tent camp here at Galveston Island State Park on the bay side, uh, here's an example right here, a 101. Uh, it's going to be close to the water. You get a nice shade shelter over your picnic table, wooden picnic table, a couple of parking spaces for your vehicles, uh, in-ground grill and firing, as well as a water tap in the back. It looks like you guys get a lot of green space back there to set up your tent a lot of place for your your dogs to play your children very nice y'all need to come and check out uh, their their tent spots well y'all this is your dump station at galveston island state park this is bayside uh nothing's really changed since the last time i was out here except they repaved the road it's nice and flat um you won't have any trouble getting your tanks empty out here they have a single sewer connection with a a non potable water tap over to the side. You'll need to provide your own hose. Um, also a garbage can for getting rid of your gloves and trash. Nice wide uh, pad space in here. You can get your rig in here. So um, again, this is Bayside. So really glad to see the, uh, the roads repaved in here. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, there's no light though guys if you come through here at night you're going to need some kind of light source Well, y'all, hope you're enjoying your tour of Galveston Island State Park, Bayside, so far. Uh, go ahead and lace up your hiking shoes, and we'll check out the trails. Well, y'all, if there's one upgrade I'd like to see over here at Galveston Island State Park on the Bayside, I'd like to see them upgrade their, their signage. Uh, they're still using the old color code system, which means you still got to make sure that you get a trail map before you come here. Uh, but this is the Clapper Rail Trail. This is a good example of what you get with the trails here on the bay side. Uh, a lot of these trails are just cut through the grass. Uh, but they're, what's great about them is they're nice and flat, um, so they're easy on your feet. Put on a good pair of uh, tennis shoes, 
And then I've got old blue with me today. And so these trails are perfect for mountain biking. Make sure you bring your bike out here, y'all. One of the cool features about the trail system here at Galveston Island Bayside is their system of boardwalks that they have. Like this one that connects the Clapper Rail Trail with the Eskimo Curlew. Uh, really cool. Well, y'all, one of the more popular activities uh, out here on the Bayside is to come visit this observation tower. Uh, it's just a short walk from the uh, from the parking lot. So um, y'all make sure y'all get out here and come check this out and get you a couple of good pictures while you're out here. Uh, just be warned that, uh, especially on the weekend, it's very busy. Well, all right, y'all, let's go up here and check it out. Let's see what we can see. Wow, this is amazing, guys. All right, so uh, this panel that we came up on, the uh, Eskimo Curlew sculpture, is definitely something that you've got to go check out. If you guys take the trail that you see here and go across that first boardwalk, when you cross the water, you'll see a sculpture over there, and that's the Eskimo Curlew sculpture. Now, according to the informative panel, this particular bird has not been seen on Galveston Island since 1962. So make sure you get over there and check that out. But what an amazing view, guys. You really can see a whole lot of the Bayside from here. Sometimes this is what you come up on on some of these trails at Galveston Island State Park. Uh, Unfortunately, this is the Eskimo Curlew Trail, and part of it is completely underwater. But uh, really cool part is we get to uh, we get to see a little bit of wildlife out here, some of the birds and things like that. So it's it's not a complete loss. This is the Heritage Trail, also known as Duck Lake uh, Pond Trail. It's closest trail to the Bayside headquarters uh, where you drive in. Uh, this is a three tenths of a mile trail that is really easy, y'all. Um, what's really cool is this bird blind. When you get out here, um, come and check out this bird blind. Unfortunately, it looks like the grass is maybe a little bit too tall to look through the windows, but um, you might be able to spot some birds maybe nesting down below. Uh, but there is a there is a body of water back here. So if you stand here, you can see some some of your favorite birds come and go. Just a really great place to enjoy nature. Y'all make sure that you end your hike here on the Heritage Trail um, and come check out the nice uh, sitting area that they have here. They have a really nice deck out here, y'all. There are a lot of birds out here. Enjoy the view of the water. Just a really cool place to come hang out. Well, y'all, let's talk about your activities over here on Galveston Island State Park, Bayside. Number one has to be fishing. Bring your fishing gear. Uh, there's a place for you to fish. Uh, there's plenty of places to spread out, a lot of water. Uh, one of my favorite spots is the day use area. They have four picnic tables with shade shelters 
and I, I have a blast, y'all, just catching sunfish up there. It's it's a lot of fun, but uh, we see serious fishermen out here, y'all. Uh, they'll they'll wade fish out here, and so whatever fishing experience you're looking for, they've got it over here. Uh, second would be the kayaking trails they have here. Bring your kayak out here. The paddling trails are are amazing. Uh, see a lot of people with kayaks on their vehicles out here. Uh, third would be the trail system that they have. Really enjoy the fact that Galveston Island State Park cuts uh, the trails through the grass and, and they're really friendly uh, for your bicycle as well. So bring your bikes out here um, and do that. Uh, flying a kite, uh, see a lot of that. Uh, your kids will love doing that. Uh, bird watching, they have really nice bird blind on the Heritage Trail. Uh, so you, you can see all kind of different birds out here um, looking at stars at night hanging out at your campsite uh, these are just some of the activities that you can do and and it's a lot of fun this is a great park guys so uh, make sure you give Bayside a, a try We all have had a blast checking out the bay side, but it's time to pack it up, y'all. Go check out the beach side. Why don't y'all go ahead and hop in the truck and I'll meet you over there. Well, y'all, Galveston Island State Park has a brand new headquarters over here on the beach side. Uh, really nice building, y'all. Super friendly folks. Uh, y'all make sure you tell them how happy you are for them. Uh, it's been a while since they've been open over here. Uh, just a wonderful facility. Um, up here they've got plenty of parking for cars and then a, a couple of pull-offs for your RV, for your camper. Uh, just really, really nice space. Uh, they have an electronic gate now, so uh, that's something cool. Uh, and then they've got some knickknacks in there that you can go in and, and check out. Uh, uh, just so happy for these guys to be open again. Well y'all, here we are, we made it. I hope you enjoyed your short uh, truck ride over here to the beach side from the bay side. Didn't take long at all. And guess what y'all, <clears throat> we already got camp set up for you. Let me show you guys around. This is really nice. You're gonna enjoy these new facilities. So this is uh, one of the roads that goes by your campsite. Now I can say to get to this campsite number seven, you wanna go down past the dumpsters y'all and then go around, you'll go around the backside by the restrooms over here and then you'll take a left and then that'll set you up for a nice uh, blindside back into your campsite. What I love about this campsite y'all is there's the beach right there y'all. They have nice concrete sidewalks that lead to both the day use area as well as the beach area. So this campsite is great for being close to the beach. I love it. Now Let's get into uh, to some other things I like and don't like about these campsites. Okay, for one, they're new. What's not to like about new? So uh, we'll start with that first. We'll go with the new portion. So what I really like, y'all, is the new electrical box and water taps, y'all. Look at this. Now, because of the storm, the storms that they have down here, they have elevated these electrical boxes and they've put them on piers. So if you get a lot of flood water, you're not gonna get water in your electrical and, uh, and it's not gonna ruin your weekend, hopefully. Uh, everything works great, y'all. The water, everything is nice and brand new. You're not gonna have any trouble getting hooked up. In fact, they give you a place to wind your, uh, your cables or your water hose if you need to. What I like about the 20, 30, 50 amp service here, y'all, here's an example of the 50 right here look at how this is slotted right there this actually holds on to your cable you can see on the 30 amp side how mine is cradling my cable so that's a really good upgrade i really like that they did that that's really cool so um, a lot of yard space in between these campsites too y'all it's uh, a lot of grass a lot of place for your dogs for your kids to roam um, 
Now, we had a burn ban this weekend, y'all, but we were able to use our, our fire pit, uh, charcoal only, and containerized fuel. So, so we did some ribs last night. Uh, that was nice to have. Um, upgraded shade shelter, y'all. This is nice. Uh, brand new picnic tables on concrete pads. Now, let me show you. They, they did away with the lantern hook. And so, one of the things that they did, y'all, is they installed these eye bolts up here. They put four eye bolts, one in each corner, so you can string your lights, hang your lantern. Um, so that's really convenient, really nice. Um, now here's the part that I don't like about 7, is you've got a view of the dump station. But let's be honest, um, you're only going to deal with that if you're staying, like, during heavy traffic weekend, like on a Sunday and people are leaving. That would be one of the times you would see a lot of campers going through here. You can't smell anything, so no worries there. But I'm going to be honest with y'all, you're spending most of your time on the beach, so you're, uh, you're, you're not really in your campsite unless you're cooking or, or it's late at night or something like that. So it didn't really bother us this weekend. Uh, but you guys are, y'all are in for a, a treat here because I've, I've got several campsites that are, that are empty. People have already left. So uh, if you're considering staying in five and six, uh, I'll go ahead and show you those as well. Well, y'all, let's talk about your insects and services over here at the beachside. Uh, so on the bay side, the mosquitoes were really bad, y'all. Um, they got to a point at night where we couldn't stay outside. The air was just not moving. But over here on the beach side, the wind kind of keeps the mosquitoes at bay, which is really nice. You can stay outside a lot longer. Other than that, y'all haven't noticed anything. They uh, must have treated this area for ants uh, because we haven't seen any. As far as services, y'all, uh, satellite's been wonderful over here on the beach side. No obstructions. We were able to lock into all our satellites and get all our channels. AT&T's been wonderful. We've been getting full service out here, so you won't have any problems with uh, with your TV or your cell phone on the beach side. So, okay, guys. So here's a couple more campsites that you might be interested in. And I forgot to mention on my campsite seven, all these. Uh, pads over here are really deep y'all y'all can get any size rig in here they do have a slope that goes front to back but leveling out was not really an issue this is five there's your in-ground grill and fire ring your upgraded shade shelter with your picnic table concrete base what i don't like about five and six y'all is there's a big old power box back here as well as you're a little bit closer to the dump station but there again, you're going to be spending most of your time on the beach, so it's not going to matter anyway. Uh, 20, 30, 50 amp electric and water. Brand new elevated boxes. And then I'm just kind of crossing the yard here. This is six. So that was five. This is six. Same thing. In-ground grill firing. Everything's similar. So really, really nice. Now, I want to show you guys... If there's one campsite that I think I would try next time, even though there's a big old power line pole here, I think for the view factor, I would try 16, y'all. 16 is really nice. You're close to everything. You're close to restrooms. You're close to the beach, day use area. This is really nice. So 16, really deep. 20, 30, 50 amp electric and water, in-ground grill and fire ring, as well as your upgraded shade shelter. So, really, really nice campsites here, y'all. Y'all got to get out here to Galveston Island State Park Beachside and, uh, and give this a try. Well, y'all, this is your dump station, brand new dump station here at Galveston Island State Park on the beach side. Um, I really like it. It's nice and clean. Um, there's one fatal flaw to this dump station that I'm going to show you guys. Um, and the fact that you've got that many campers, guys, and we have one single sewer connection. 
Uh, when I got here this morning, I got in about noon. There was already a line about five or six deep. Um, you've got uh, two non-potable water connections there. You supply your own hose. You can do your black tank flush. Um, the garbage can to get rid of your trash, your gloves, or what have you. Uh, they'll let you come this way. As you guys notice, there's a whole bunch of don't go this way, don't go that way signs. Um, you can come in from this direction. If you come in this direction, you must take a left. Um, you cannot take a right. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Drop a note in comments. How do you feel about it? Brand new facility. I would have liked to have seen them put a light out here and another sewer connection. That would have been cool. But who knows, maybe they've got plans later to, to make these sites full hookups. I don't know. But anyway, we will enjoy the new concrete, the new asphalt. Oh, by the way, the concrete pad, nice and flat and level. It does have a little bit of a slope, though, so I don't know. We'll see how getting those tanks good and empty go. But uh, anyway, I like the, like the new facility out here. Another cool feature that I like over here on the beach side, y'all, is uh, we've got like four spaces here for uh, for camper parking right next to the restroom and the day use area. So I don't know if it's me and you get here early and they say your spot's not ready, say, hey, I like to park over in the holdover area and you've got restroom facilities and access to the beach and everything. So, so big thumbs up, guys. Uh, that's really cool. And while we're on cool features, y'all, how about at this new restroom facility? They have an outdoor shower. So you can rinse off all the sand and stuff from the beach. That's also a big plus. If you guys are looking for a primitive camping experience at Galveston Island State Park on the beach side, these are campsites 71 through 85. Uh, this is 71 right here. Good example, you guys get an in-ground grill and fire ring. A nice amount of uh, green space here for your children or your dogs. Uh, 71's got a picnic table. And that's about it, guys. So you would you need to bring in anything else that you would need. Um, but just so you guys know, over in the day use area, they have, uh, they have an ice machine over there. Uh, so you don't have to leave the park for that, which is nice. And then all, all the other sites out here are, are similar to 71. It's really nice how um, how the park has provided this these really cool uh, picket fences around here. Just makes this whole area look really nice, y'all. Lots of parking. Uh, this parking lot seems to go on forever, y'all. So this is really a a good place to spread out. And then if you guys can see, and we'll walk over there in a second, and I'll show you. But there is. Uh, primitive camping even closer to the beach so but I wanted to show you real quick before we get out there this is one of the cool amenities that Galveston Island State Park has has provided for primitive camping out here and I think this is a great idea uh, a good way to stay hydrated they have water fountains out here y'all as well there's a water tap here too, and then you can also refill your bottle here at the water bottle refilling station uh, but this is your view uh, this is looking toward FM 3005 okay let's take a walk over here and we'll check out uh, some of the other primitive campsites that are closer to the beach all right, y'all, so we made it back here. So we're gonna get a little bit closer to the beach here. And to do that, we're gonna cross this really nice boardwalk that they've installed. And it's really nice, y'all, how they've, they've left the grasses and, and all the native plants uh, as wild as they can, you know, just to kind of give you that, that feeling out here. Um, Everything is well kept, but the, you know they try to give you the experience as well. And so this is really nice. A lot of birds out here. Pelicans. You guys will see a lot of pelicans.
Now these, this is pretty cool out here, y'all. Um, they actually have some campsites here that are on elevated platforms. So we'll take a look at one of these. Um, again, you see uh, you've got a water fountain out here with a, a water bottle refilling station. How cool is that? And uh, we'll take a look at this campsite right here. There's quite a few campers out here today, so I don't want to disturb these folks. Okay, so this is number 69. And so 69 is on an elevated platform. You get a nice wooden picnic table here. How cool is that? Get your tent off the ground. Really nice, y'all. They even have anchors. You can you can anchor your tent down so it doesn't fly away. In-ground grill and fire ring. And then I think another cool feature is there's the restrooms right there. So you could walk over and use the RV restrooms. Uh, but I mean, let's take a look at the view, y'all. You're a lot closer to the beach. It'd be a really quick walk down there. I think if I was gonna if I was going to stay in a tent down here, I would definitely choose one of these elevated platforms. These are pretty cool. Well, Y'all, this is cool down here. Um, way at the end of Gavison Island State Park on the beach side. Y'all, they've got some back-end primitive camping. I'm looking at 86 right here. Now, this is cool, y'all. If, if your rig is set up for solar or you have a very quiet a generator or what have you you're self-sufficient you might want to consider staying down here and doing some boondocking look at these pads y'all look at how deep these are you get any size rig in here let's say you got a class a and you're set up with solar on the top and you don't need the power that they have here well you can escape the hustle and bustle of the big rv area down there and come stay down here this is great y'all you get your in-ground grill and firing picnic table you don't get any kind of shade shelter over the picnic table um, but i guarantee you you're gonna, probably going to have a lot of this yourself because the masses are going to be flocking toward the power in the water so you've got water tanks on your rig you've got a way to uh, generate some power in your rig this is the place to stay y'all there's the beach right there and uh, if you can see the parking lot over there there is an access trail right to the beach. So this is pretty cool, y'all. Y'all might want to check these out. y'all well, check out this wonderful day use area they have here at Galveston Island State Park. Um, one of the first things I want to draw your attention to is the ice and water machine over here. How cool is that? We need more of those at more state parks. Three dollars for a bag of ice and then uh, 50 cents to fill up your jug for a, a gallon of water. It's a pretty good deal. But you got a lot of green space out here y'all. Several pavilions, uh, shade shelters, just a lot of room for your kids to roam around and play and throw a frisbee or a ball. Tons of parking for day use. As well as the restroom facility. I mean, this can't be beat, y'all. And then straight ahead, you have some outdoor showers to rinse all that sand off your feet when you get back from the beach. Well, y'all, let's check out these really nice changing rooms that they have down here at Galveston Island State Park. Uh, these doors are really heavy, y'all. They've got locks on them. And then inside here, they've got some nice benches for you. 
uh, to sit down and change your clothes and really really nice and they have four of those and then down here on the end uh, they've got some nice outdoor showers you can rinse off all the the salt and the sand and everything else that you collect on you while you're down at the beach so really nice facilities they've got here and here guys we've got a close-up of one of the uh, the outdoor shade shelters that they've got here in the day use area they have a lot of garbage cans out here the sidewalks are all brand new everything's nice uh, picnic tables wooden picnic tables and the shade shelters they give you for day use they also have these these eye bolts um, so they're identical to the ones in the RV camping area and then you get a nice standing grill here uh, but this is great guys get a nice breeze you're close to everything, close to the water, close to the beach, uh, close to the changing area, the outdoor showers. Uh, just a big thumbs up to the day use area here at Galveston Island State Park. And don't worry guys, if you're having a family reunion or a large family gathering, they've got you covered. They have uh, these very large pavilions out here and they've got like six picnic tables under here. It's very nice, very well shaded. Uh, so you can have your, your family gathering out here, and then they've got these uh, double standing grills here. All of this is located really close to the restroom area, so I'll show you guys. What that looks like. Okay, so there's your restrooms right there. And then I just want you to take a look for a moment at all the green space that you've got here. I mean, that's a lot of room to play. Throw a Frisbee, throw a ball. And then on the other side, guys, they also have another set of uh, changing rooms as well as a, another outdoor shower. So uh, they've got you covered out here. What a great day use area. I want to draw your attention uh, once again in the day use area guys they've got more drinking fountains here and a water bottle refilling station and then over here is their ice machine um, you can use uh, debit and credit cards to get your ice and your water really really cool y'all and then over here y'all if if for some reason you get out here and it's a super packed weekend um, you can't get one of the shade shelters. Um, check this out. They have four garbage cans out here. And then they've got some electrical boxes here with some water taps. So this area could be used to set up an awning. And, uh, and you could have your own uh, portable picnic area out here. So pretty cool. Well, one of the cool features that they have here at Galveston Island State Park on the beach side, y'all, is uh, they've got this really cool boardwalk up here. And uh, boardwalk takes you right out to the ocean. But it's nice because it's concrete uh, all the way from the RV camping area. Uh, just a really nice walkway. And then uh, as you get down here, uh, they've got a, a couple of benches here for you to sit and uh, kind of look out the ocean. Well, y'all, Galveston Island State Park is a lot like Mustang Island State Park. And if you haven't checked that video out, uh, please do so. Uh, but let's talk about your activities over here on the beach side. Um, just like Mustang Island State Park, y'all, you, you're allowed to bring your canopies down here, your chairs. Uh, your cooler. Uh, the only difference is the Galveston Island State Park will not let you drive on the beach. Okay, so what we see a lot of is uh, collapsible uh, wagons that people bring down here to the beach. Um, you basically have to walk everything in that you want to bring down here, your, your floaties, things like that. Uh, so make sure you do that. Um, 
the sky's the limit, y'all. Really, just like Mustang Island State Park. What, what, what do you want to do out here is totally up to you. So if you want, if you're big into fishing, you want to fish, you can spend the whole day fishing out here. Um, you want to swim in the water, come out here and swim in the water, uh, surfing, wind surfing, uh, flying a kite, bird watching. Uh, the sky's the limit. Uh, bring your kids out here with a bucket and uh, a little shovel. They can play in the sand, build sand castles. Um, I promise you, you'll have a great time when you come out here. Such a great park. Uh, just, just get out here, y'all. Check it out. Well, y'all, I've had an amazing visit this weekend to Galveston Island State Park, Bayside and Beachside. I'm so happy for uh, Galveston Island State Park that they finally reopened the beachside. It's wonderful, y'all. You got to get out here and check it out. Uh, but listen, y'all, it's time for me to hit the trail. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of weeks off, and then around the first weekend in August, I'm going to be heading over to Brazos Bend State Park in Needville, Texas. So y'all come and join me for that one. But hey, listen, if you enjoyed the content of this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when our videos post every Saturday at 6 p.m. To all my current subscribers, guys, you rock so much. I appreciate your support. All my future subscribers, guys, what are you waiting for? Get on board. I see a lot of campgrounds. Drop me a note in comments if there's a campsite you'd like to see. And remember, I'll see you at the campsite.